today I'll be doing another video on this dual display meter <clears throat> I'll be showing how to connect it with a buck a converter I've put these connecting pins right here on the buck converter I use the this I break them off and I connect it which would make it easier for me to put in some wires instead of soldering the wires this is the LM259 chip here it has an adjustable port I would be putting 5 or 12 volts through this and regulate it this is the dual display amp meter it measures both volts and amps it's a five wire digital meter with <clears throat> adjustable ports right here that's to calibrate it if you put it on and you find it's off or you put a multi-purpose meter on it to test it and you find it's off you would adjust it here this top port is for the arms this port here is for the volts with that said let's jump into it I'll also be using this to measure the voltage. These are the wires I have. It's just a plug in. Let me make sure I have the polarity right. This is the plus sign. This is the minus side. And that's the input. This side is the output. I have the white wire as positive. The green wire has grown. And this is the load we will be testing today okay let me turn it around because this side is the output the output line which is the plus line you will be connecting the yellow and the red wire together
no sins, the thin black, and uh, the big black wire is the same. You don't have to connect both wires. You could just connect one wire. So you connect the thick black to the negative end of the power supply. Now this is the input side. You'll connect. You don't have to use the meter, this little meter. I'm just using it to show the voltage. And on the input side, you connect negative to negative, positive to positive. Now your load wire. Your negative wire will connect to the red wire that's the negative side of the load will be connected to the red wire Let me put some lab nuts on it. And your positive side of the load will be connected to the positive side don't study the wires if you need to connect you could pause the video and go back to it and you take That's the power supply. You take it and you connect to it. You take the other end and you connect. You just make sure that your wires a touch. Now you have the positive side of the load. That's the red wire, the red wire of this meter and the yellow wire and the positive side from the power supply you have all this connected together so you have one two three four wires 
on the positive side. You have the black wire. The thick black wire going to the negative end of your power supply. Now since I'm using this, I connect the red wire, the two red wires together and the black wire from the power supply. The negative wire from the load goes to the red wire of the meter. And I put in on my unit. Okay, I had this red wire on the negative end of the port. Now I've put it right, and this is it. When you connect in, just make sure you have your polarity the right way. This is the adjustable port. That's the voltage coming in from my power supply. You can see this one. It's flickering with the GoPro. But when I'm using the phone, it stays steady. You notice it's going down. And you could see the load. When I increase, you could see the voltage and the amp, amperage the fan is using. When connecting, you could always pause the video and check your wiring. When I first connected, I made a mistake and I put a positive on the negative and the negative on the positive. But I've corrected it when you are doing it. Just make sure you have everything the right way. The thin black wire, you don't have to connect it. That's the neutral wire because the thin black wire and the thick black wire is the same thing. They are connected the same place. So you do not have to connect it. Make sure your load, your power, and the red and the, the thin red and the yellow wire connect together. These four wires connected together. Your negative of your power supply would go to the negative, the thick black wire. On your load, your negative will go to the red, the thick red wire. Your positive on your load, as I stated earlier, will go to the positive end. So you have four wires on your positive end. If you find this video was helpful, please like, comment, subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos 
everything I used in this video I'll put it in the link below in the description below thank you until the next one